Hi, I'm Paige Sears. We are bringing you the insights here at the Mortgage Bankers Association Conference in San Diego, where I'm with David Hendrickson. And Dave, you've gone to MBA before. You know what people are talking about because you're in meetings all day here in the Scoop. What is really surprising you? Uh, what's really surprised me is the amount of capital. And uh, it feels, because there was so little capital back in two years ago, 2009, uh, that uh, now, based on the deal volume, it feels as as much, like there's as much capital as there has been in, since 06, 07. Hmm. It's not, of course, but, but it feels relatively like it's there. So it's coming. And is this capital targeting all product types, or are we seeing it kind of funnel to some? Uh, it's the four, four main food groups. We hear a lot of lenders are really uh, also expanding into hotels and a few other, maybe, you know, maybe you've got self-storage or a few other things, but mostly four, four main food groups. Everybody wants multifamily. Everybody wants industrial. Uh, office is, of course, on everybody's list, but, but uh, multifamily and industrial are tops. They're hot. Okay. So if multifamily and industrial are getting a lot of interest from lenders, that must be making an impact on the competitiveness. What's that doing to rates? Sure. So um, you've had treasuries have increased about 100 basis points over the last two months. And, uh, but as those treasuries have gone up, the competition has caused spreads to tighten maybe as much as 50 basis points. So the net net rate increase is about 50 basis points. Not as bad as it could have been. You know, and I do see the uh, treasuries continue going up. I think that just happened. It gradually goes up through 2011, 2012. Uh, spreads continue to come in. I think most of the lenders are feeling spreads are going to continue to tighten. And so, uh, again, if we get another 100 basis point increase, mm -hmm. maybe another 50 basis point net increase in, in overall rates. Okay, so this is hopefully going to stave off any major other impacts in the economy. We hope that inflation is not going to get too out of hand or that's coming, but what, what else can really impact the economy and the, the momentum we're seeing now? Yeah, actually, inflation would be... Number one. That would be number one, because uh, if it's, it's global right now, every country has inflation on their mind, and, you know, it hasn't impacted us so far, and it, does, it feels like everything's being held in check, but if we did have a blip of inflation, then that could shoot tre treasuries up rapidly spreads wouldn't tighten as quickly. Mm -hmm. So we still think that for now, money's going into real estate, it's going to keep going. Yeah, absolutely. And well, good. We will be back, so stay tuned. We're going to give you more insights from MBA here at the show.